All right, in this video, we will talk about how to make uh, the handle. Um, so the handle is made of uh, two parts, the metal, the metal part, and then the, uh, the rubber grip. And uh, for the metal part, we, we, we will use uh, extrude uh, to simplify the uh, process. And then for the uh, rubber handle, we will use uh, uh, the swept command. Okay, so first uh, for this metal piece, uh, we will uh, create a sketch, then extrude. Okay, let's start a new file. Okay, uh, you want to save to some place you have access. Then we have the data coordinate system. So we will create a sketch on X Y plane. All right, so um, if you look at the sketch, uh, you pretty much want to fix uh, holes uh, to your uh, sketch origin. So we will first put two holes and fix their uh, position. So that would be 0.2 inch in diameter. So here, point. Yeah, point two inch, and that's too big. Click fit. All right. Then the next hole will be somewhere below here. Okay. Now I'm gonna put in uh, some dimensions. The first is the distance between the two circle will be uh, one point two inch. All right, then you want to make sure the circle below is on uh, y axis. So I'm going to put in one uh, uh, geometric constraint that's the uh, point on on uh, on curve. So the object uh, you want to constrain is the center of this circle. Okay, then we move to the second uh, that will be the y-axis. So you can see the dash line shows up. All right, then uh, we can make the top arc. That will be another circle. And uh, the dimension is 0.6 in diameter. All right, then we have two straight line here. This one is vertical, and uh, pretty much you just need to snap to uh, this own curve. Okay, snap. And when you see the own curve icon, you can drop down uh, this. And I believe this the this end is aligned with the center of this uh, circle. So you can just put it here. And as you can see, I have a dimension here. It's 1.2 and uh, here is 1.2 also. So the length of this line is the same as the distance between these two circles. And then on this side, <coughs> again, that will be on curve. Okay, and then you want to just drop it anywhere. Okay, after that, you can put uh, dimensions. Uh, that will be 4.5 inch, and uh, the angle with y axis is 10 degree. So that will be. You want to put down this tilted, the length of the the line will be 4.5 then the angle between this line and the axis will be 10 degrees okay all right then we are going to make this uh, small step here the shoulder uh, now we have the degree. 
now be somewhere uh, here. So the angle with this vertical line will be 115 degrees. Okay. And then the lens is 0.1 inch, and make sure this one is tilted. Okay. 0.1 inch. Then we will stop here on the right side. Then we will start from this side. <coughs> so the uh, the bottom is made of uh, two um, parallel on the same offset of uh, arcs, and this one is arc also. Then we start with a straight line. Uh, based on that line, we will build this uh, arc. So first we will make the uh, straight line. You can use profile tool and go down uh, some distance then make this one perpendicular like this. Okay. So then we can put in uh, dimensions. Uh, that's 2 inch. We'll type in 2. And the angle here is 165 so be from here to here that will be 165 okay and then the distance of this um, and the tip is um, 0.175 inch okay so that will give us the uh, the constraint for this um, arc <coughs> okay and uh, we can come convert those two into uh, uh, reference now so we can use this button if you cannot find that it will be here uh, I'm sorry here so convert to all from reference so we will use three point okay three point arc to make this uh, bottom arc. So that will be start from this end, end and here. Then as to the middle you want to be tangent with uh, this um, uh, reference line. So drop this. <coughs> okay. Now that will be our uh, uh, the left side. Then the right side will be an offset. So first, I want to um, actually make sure, uh, or you can simply just use offset, and uh, the distance will be 0.35. Okay. Then you can pick this arc and change the uh, direction. And the buttons here okay so that will be 0 0.5 0 0.35 offset once you click OK uh, you will have this so um, sorry about that um, next we will build this top arc okay that will be a three point arc also so we will start from the top and then we connect the bottom as to the middle it's really depend on how you want to make this okay so just eyeball this and uh, I don't like this um, actually what I did is uh, First, I drew a straight line here to be perpendicular to the uh, this reference line. So it'll be hard. I need to snap to the bottom reference line, then make something perpendicular. I'll put it in the middle, maybe. Okay, so this line will pretty much be the middle of this uh, 165 angle. Okay, then we'll extend this 
arc a little bit then this will give this um, this corner a little bit outward okay. so you don't have to follow exactly what I did I, as I said at the start of the semester uh, as long as we have uh, the proper shape or proper geometry you don't have to be obsessed on the dimension so like this one um, this one is purely eyeballed okay as long as it looks like uh, this shape I'll be okay so now I'm gonna cut off uh, this line or you can just turn this to reference okay just remind yourself there's something here then we can cap this end alrighty uh, we all we need to to do is uh, to fillet and then cut off this okay so let's see uh, the radius of this fillet is 2 inch okay so we will type in 2 press enter and then you can pick this corner and that corner okay uh, then for the top part you just use quick trim okay. now let's have a look at the uh, sketch oh, oh. Okay. Let me drag this drag. okay now finish the sketch uh, that looks good enough okay all right Net net or x or x so so the 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 all the the all this this of this two two the the seven seven divide by two two um because because um b s s b go back go back so 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 make point seven five divide by two uh that'll be three eighths okay and uh when you pick the sketch, okay, the here select the curve. You want to use connected curve, so you will not pick the two holes um, because we will do uh, use shell command later. And if you have a hole there, you will form some uh, like a cylindrical wall around the hole. Then that's something else uh, we don't want. Okay, so just click OK. Okay, and next that will be uh, okay. So next we will use trim body command to uh, make the top and bottom. The first height will be this uh, this piece, and the the middle will be the lowest. Then uh, the back is basically the uh, the same height as the extrude. So. Uh, we're gonna draw three uh, straight line here first and then the, the right side will be the same as the top so just snap to anything on the top face and then here will be somewhere between the lowest and the highest <coughs> okay now we can look at the uh, dimensions uh, should be able to see the numbers here. Okay. That'll be 0.28 for the left side. The middle side will be 0 0.23, and uh, the right side you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So from uh, okay, first we need the uh, middle, the center line. All right, so I'm gonna build a center line here uh, you can just uh, snap to the geometry that should give you a nice center line then you can turn this to a uh, reference or you can use this uh, command in the manual to turn that into reference okay now 
since I have the reference line here, I don't need the extrude. Okay, if you have the extrude on the screen, uh, a sketch will snap to uh, a lot of points. Uh, the, the extrude, so I can hide this extrude, um, but you can still leave this uh, this sketch on, or we can just make um, this dash line here. The vertical one is actually uh, aligned with the center of this hole. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just snap to the center of that hole, and you click. So this point will be aligned with the center of that circle. Then you can pull up, and when you see the arrow, that will be vertical in your sketch, since we are looking at a 3D angle. Okay. Now we can turn that into a reference also. So after this, we don't need the first sketch. We can just hide that. So now we have the uh, the length and the position of three uh, horizontal lines then we need to connect them using a straight line we just connect like so it's pretty easy just a lot of, uh, a lot of work now then we will use filling to smooth out those uh, connections so that will be 3 inch, 3 inch and 5 inch for this side okay. so we can type in the number first, 3, and then pick the angle here, and then you can type in 5, uh, pick two corners here, and just click on the corner, okay, and then pretty much we have the top side, okay, then we will um, use mirror curve to mirror the top side to the bottom. So we will select the curve, that will be connected curve. Okay, that's what we want. Then we can select the reference line and the center line. Okay, so we have finished sketch. That will be our uh, cutting tool for the handle. So let's come back to the next uh, slides. Okay, so after you finish the, the, uh, this sketch, you can extrude this uh, two curves okay, into sheets and here you want to make sure okay, this extrude will cover uh, uh, everything of the uh, this handle so you can use symmetric um, then as to the number you don't have to worry about that just drag make sure this thing is bigger than this the, ha uh, the handle so okay alright so next we will use trim body okay so first to select the target is the uh, solid body then we will select the face top first and you cannot select two faces at the same time you will not work so I'm gonna press shift and deselect the bottom sheet so some of you might have different uh, normal okay so you can switch directions then apply then we can do that again for the bottom part pick the bottom sheet and look at the shape if that's good then just click OK alright then we can hide this uh, extrude then that will give you the the shape of this uh, metal piece. All right, then we will uh, first do the uh, edge blend to make this uh, backside uh, smoother. Then we will use uh, the uh, shell command. Oh, yeah, mirror feature to make the the bottom uh, edge blend. Then use the shell command. Okay, let's start with the variable radius edge blend so first the basic radius here radius 1 will be um, 0.75 divided by 2 okay. then you can pick this uh, edge okay. that will give you the uh, constant radius 
then we can add another uh, new location and you can I use this uh, end point or start point so I will snap to the start point of uh, an edge so we have three uh, positions first is uh, Uh, this here, this little corner, and you can pick the left side or the right side of the edge. Okay, so once you pick that, that'll give you the uh, variable radius. So for for the first one, that's 0.1 inch. You can just type in 0.1, press enter. Okay, this will be aligned with uh, the corner. Things. This step is 0.1 inch. <coughs> okay. Then the next point will be here. That will be the second line from this. So it will be this line. And I'll pick this left and uh, the right side of this edge. Okay. And this one will be uh, a quarter inch uh, radius. Then we want to make sure start from here. Okay, this point, the first line coming from this uh, elbow, that will be the same as the, the top. So the last one, it again, will be 0 0.75 divided by 2. Okay. And we can have a look. Then you can press OK. Um, why uh, this number? Um, because the, the height of this is 0.75. So the if we use half of the uh, the height, we will, we will have something like this. They will mer merge in the middle, so the whole thing will be smooth. Okay, so you can do the edge blend for the other side, and that takes some time. We can just use insert associative copy, then use mirror feature. Okay. So um, here, um, the feature we're gonna use is the uh, edge blend. You can pick from the viewport uh, view, this view, and you can pick from the the part navigator. Okay. Then we need to find the mid surface of this handle. So that will be uh, a new plane. Okay. It's not existing yet. So we will use new plane. And you will use uh, this icon. That's your bisector. So you pick two face. Then an X will find you the middle face of those two. So pretty much only the only flat face we have is this one. So we will pick the top and pick the bottom. Then you can see we have the middle face. Okay, and you can see this. A little square that means uh, the, the other side of the feature we can use apply okay so that will be enough uh, for step 5 mirror feature then next we will use uh, shell command to form the uh, the metal uh, sheet metal so the thickness will be 0.08 Okay, and shell command is here. As you can see by default, it's tangent face. Uh, once you pick this face, since this one are they're all tangent, it will pick a lot mm, faces. So either one is okay. Once you click, okay, and uh, you can say uh, you can see this small piece is missing. You can click here. And then also we want to pick this side. And the alert here that means um, the radius, the thickness is too big. So once you type in a smaller thickness and the press enter, okay, so you can go through this uh, alert. So this one is down here. Um, Next, we're gonna smooth out this uh, end tip. Uh, again, that's another edge blend. <coughs> okay, 
So we will pick those uh, small edge here. And once you pick edge, okay, um, I think, yeah, that's actually 75 divided by 2. So this will be the radius you want. If it goes too small, then it only goes to the top. So that'll be 0.75 divided by 2. Okay. All right, then you can press OK. That will give us a nice shape. And uh, what else? Now we can make the holes. Okay. Then here we can uh, simply use extrude. And you have to show the first sketch since the holes are on that sketch. Okay. You can even use wireframe so you can actually find those holes. The first one, then the second one. You want to use a uh, symmetric value, so we can cut off uh, both sides. And here, as we talk about in the lab, uh, this is uh, the Boolean operation. You can't extrude uh, with this none option, then use the standalone Boolean operation. You can also just uh, do it here in one command. So subtract from the big handle. Once you press OK, you will have the uh, hole. Okay. <coughs> All right. So next we will talk about how to make the uh, grip, and uh, the metal part is finished. Um, okay. Um, for the swept, we will have uh, three section curve, so three cross sections. Then we will have uh, the uh, uh, maybe three guide, three guidelines. So uh, we already have the three guidelines there. The uh, this back curve on this uh, on sketch one. Then we will have the edge of this uh, the solid. And uh, we first need to define the position of those three uh, sections. So uh, the position of the three section uh, number one is here and. Uh, that's uh, eyeballed, so you can just then that's pretty much the second after the second uh, ISO line that will be here. Then the second datum is the middle of this uh, uh, fillet, so you can actually find the middle. Uh, and the last one is the tip of, of this, but we're gonna draw uh, the the last uh, cross section on the fourth datum because there's uh, a little bit thickness of the rubber grip, so you want to make sure the uh, the last section is away from the, the metal piece. So for the uh, three datum, we will use uh, the uh, on curve method. Then for the first datum. Um, I do have the exact, num exact number if you want to use, uh, I think, uh, if you use tangent curve and you pick the whole thing, that will be 45% uh, of the, the whole curve. So as you can see um, here, the highlighted, highlighted curve. That will be a uh, use tangent curve uh, filter, then 45% of the length. Okay, for the second datum, that will be in the middle of the fillet. So here we're going to use the on curve method again, and uh, you want to make sure you pick a single curve, which is the fillet curve. Okay, then you can type in 50% of that curve. Make sure uh, if you look at the highlighted curve, uh, only the fillet is uh, selected. So you use apply, that will be the second uh, data. So the third data is on the end of this tip. Okay, you can simply drag this data to the position of, you can type in 0, might be 100%, uh, depend on which side you click, 
Okay, apply. So we have one, two, three datum. Uh, the last one is at distance 0.1 inch from the third datum. And make sure this direction is okay. Uh, that's my date. 0.1 inch. Switch direction. That's not very good. And I clicked my middle mouse button. So, okay, the direction is here. I'm sorry about that. That's the orientation of the plane. Okay, so 0.1 inch. And that's the direction. Click OK. <coughs> okay, next we're going to draw some uh, sketch. So the sketch will be on. Um, let's make sure I can see this. Will be on uh, datum one, two, and the four. Okay. So let's start on the first datum. So let's build a sketch on the first datum. Then we don't need to draw the actual sketch we just need to extract the uh, intersection curve okay the intersection curve of the solid uh, and uh, this uh, data so the command is here intersection curve then we pick the face we want to uh, use so you we can pick the whole thing here then we will see the intersection curve already there on the, on the data. So once you click OK, and uh, I'm going to hide the solid. You can see this is the intersection. OK. Then next, we're going to offset this curve uh, at the distance of the, the thickness of the rubber grip. OK. And here we're going to use single curve. If you use connected curve to offset the whole thing, you will get an alert. So, and we only need the outside of this C shape anyway. And make sure the direction is correct. We also need the right side of the C. Okay. Then that will be enough. And you can, maybe we only need one side of we only need one, okay, and ignore that. All right, then we will need uh, do uh, quick extend this curve to cap the this loop. Okay, first we're gonna select the boundary curve. This is a little bit different from what we used to do. So the boundary will be the bottom curve. Then the curve we want to extend will be this one. Okay, and Apparently there's some problem. Don't worry about that. We just use quick trim to trim off this. Okay. Now we will extend the bottom to the right side of the curve. Okay. Now we have a bigger closed loop uh, without the uh, the C shape opening. So we will use this as the uh, cross section for the rubber grip. Now we have finished the first sketch. We will do the same to the second sketch. Okay. Now we need the uh, extrude the solid piece. And we can use shaded to have a better looking. So intersection curve. Pick the outside, inside, then this side view. Click OK, you will have this uh, intersection curve. OK, um, now let's hide the extrude, then offset the same distance, the same uh, curve rule. Then we pick the outside, 
to make sure the direction is right. One side of this, I can even pick this side. Okay. So then we can ex extend the one of the straight line. Then we still have a this small section here, and uh, as I said before, we don't want overlapping curves, so we can turn this to reference, and that'll give us uh, the uh, closed loop without overlapping uh, the I mean the active curves uh, as to uh, uh, the reference curve. Okay, let's finish the second. Then, as to the the third section on the bottom on the fourth datum, okay, we will build the first, build a sketch on the first fourth datum. Then here it's a little bit different. We're not gonna use the uh, intersection because there's no intersection at all. We will use projected curve, project curve, okay? and we'll project this this edge onto the uh, sketch. All right, that's the uh, the C shape. Then I'll try to project this edge also. Then that'll be enough. Okay. So we can hide the solid. We can also hide this data. This is your quick menu. Okay, so next we're gonna do offset again. Mm, outside uh, direction. Then also this side. And as you can see they they don't look like connected. Okay. So I'll try to put a coincident constraint here or maybe this one is not a straight line at all okay so what we do is we can draw a uh, three point arc okay three point arc to approximate this uh, Spline. This is actually a spline. If you look at the uh, property of this, so maybe I can find the middle point. No. So okay. So just make a three-point arc like this, uh, tangent to the spline at a certain point. That might not be the middle point, but that'll be good enough. Then we will make a straight line, or we can hide the spline first. We can hide this spline, or we can turn this into reference. Then we will have a uh, the arc we need. Then we will close the opening of this arc. Okay, to the bottom, the arc. All right, then we will do the offset. So here we have a nice closed curve. Okay, so that should give us a well, not so good shape. So we're gonna extend the circle. First, we're gonna select the boundary. Then we're gonna select the curve that is one then we will do it second time to extend this side okay it's a little bit uh, difficult and uh, but we finish this okay we have the outside loop for the sketch all right now we have three sections and we don't need to draw the guideline for the uh, swept so we're gonna start the swept command Okay, the swept command is here. And then we will pick three uh, sections, and you always want to expand this list. Make sure you have different sections. So first, we're gonna pick 
uh, connected curve for the curve rule. Okay, so you can pick the whole thing with only one click, and you want to click the tops of this uh, straight line because if you pick the uh, the direction of the loop, okay, the direction will be different. It depends on where you click. If you pick, if you click on the top, that will give you a clockwise uh, direction, like so. If, let's say, I'm going to deselect this. If you click at the bottom of this straight line, that will give, give you a counterclockwise direction. So, just make sure you pick all the sections with the same manner so you, they will have the same direction as well as the orange curve okay so to me I will pick this straight line as the orange curve since that's the only thing in common for this uh, three sections so I'm gonna pick the second section first thing you need to add a new section then we'll go to the second one pick the top of this uh, straight line and make sure that's connected curve. And then add the third section for the last cross section. Okay. Now we have three cross sections. And then we will need to pick the guideline. So the first guideline is the uh, back of this uh, uh, sketch, the very first sketch. If you pick, you will pretty much see the uh, results and we have some distortion there we will take care of that later and we still need uh, the other two guidelines to make this side smoother okay so first you're gonna show the the metal piece show that extrude then we can go to wireframe so we will pick the uh, it's pretty hard to see that and you want to hide, uh, hide which one? Hide this sketch. So right click here. Oh, missing sketch zero two. Okay, that'll be this one. I'm gonna hide this sketch. And you don't want all of those. And when I click on the sketch, I picked so many curves on the second sketch deselect okay. so that's the uh, first guide and then we can add another set for the second guide which is the bottom and the top edge of the the metal piece on the solid okay. and that's too much we can pick single curve and that'll be from here, here, then that'll take some time. We'll see how the result looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I just need one curve, one guideline. Well, let's save a lot of time. Okay. Now let's take care of the distortion here. Uh, first, we want to use cubic. Okay, cubic will give us very uh, smoother uh, shape than the uh, linear. It's like your equation. Okay, then you want to choose by point for the alignment. Once you pick by point, that's good enough. It's good to go. Okay, why I don't know. Uh, maybe the parameter is not that good. Once you pick by by point, NX will actually find some feature points and align them to each other between the sections. So that will give you a nicer uh, shape. And then let's click OK. All right, so that's uh, the big shape of this uh, this grip. So next we're gonna make the uh, end round up using the uh, Edge blend, we will pick this edge. Okay, and the radius of that will be 
inch. Okay, that's it. Then the uh, last step will be the uh, this side. We'll need to cut this into a machine. And then we will eyeball it. So this is only visual visual thing. So pretty much from here to there. Then the middle will be a little bit curvy. Okay. Okay. Um, now the uh, the you can see the right side is uh, what uh, higher than what we want to cut. So you have to modify this uh, arc. So you can right click on the arc, and there's uh, this monkey wrench added curve. Okay. So once you have this uh, added curve, uh, you can ignore this. You can just drag the point, and I'm gonna drag. Okay, it's a wide frame. You can drag, and you can see the shape of your arc. Uh, that's pretty much enough. Okay, so make sure this arc is below this uh, top date of the the end of this uh, grip. Let's finish sketch. Then you can extrude this um, symmetrically, and you don't want to ex subtract anything. Uh, as you, uh, as we talk about this, uh, the boolean operation is not for uh, sheet body, so that's why you didn't see the the preview before that. Okay. All right. So now. We're gonna cut off the uh, the top, so we can use trim body. Select the grip, then select the face. That's good. Now we can click OK. Then we can hide this extrude, okay, by right click on the sheet. That's your quick menu. So this is done for the. Uh, for the, the this uh, handle part, and I did some edge blend just to smooth out this uh, sharp angle compared to the the real thing. We have some very smooth edge everywhere, so you can pick the edge and get give this uh, very small okay radius. So just a nicer looking on the part, and uh, if you want this to be nicer, you can pick the sketch and the data. Then right click. You can hide everything, and also click on the data itself to hide them. So this will be on. Uh, Solid only on the screen, and uh, if you hide this extrude, you can see the metal part. Okay, so this is it for the the how to create this handle part. So for this week, the homework will be the top blade, which you should finish uh, at least half in last week, and uh, this handle piece. Uh, it's all pretty easy. Um, maybe you will have some problem on the sketch, so just pay attention to the sketch. You will have once you have good quality sketch, you, you will have no problem on the extrude, swept, etc. Okay, so one screenshot of this with the uh, part navigator, and uh, that will be it for the homework. Uh, thank you very much.